Okay, all right, here we go. No. Oh, maybe it hurt more. Nice. Okay, all right, the section we're in, we're in section 6 1, and we're gonna do 6 2 today. So 6 1 and 6 2, we're gonna mix them together and we're gonna do some homework on it. Uh, again, the whole topic, just the generic topic we're talking about is percents. Uh, goal today is to look at how to take a graphical oh, yeah. form, like a visual display, and change it to numbers. So a visual graphic, so a visual form, um, a graphic, and then we're going to change that into data. So we're going to change that into data, and then we're going to go backwards. So if I give you data, data um, then if I give you data, can you go back to actual graphical form? So the visual data. So we're gonna we're gonna kind of practice. Can you um, do you know how to do this? Can you do it very easy? I'm gonna show you the shortcuts for doing it today. So it makes it a little pretty easy. So you know what to draw. Okay. All right. Let's do. Let's jump in the first example here. So I'd like you to have this in your notes. So you need to have your notes out right now. Uh, eventually, you will need a calculator. So if I need to hand out calculators, you'll want to have one of those. So yeah. I want to have one. And when will this homework be due Tuesday? It'll be due Monday. Due Monday. So. If we have school. Yeah, we'll have it. Oh. I'm not even expecting a lot of snow. I want snow, I don't think we'll get any. I don't oh, want snow. snow. We've had snow for a while and it's spring now, so I can go. So, I'm expecting a lot of rain. That's what I'm expecting. I can't okay. go. Okay. Move on, no. Okay, here we go. Um, the visual that I'd like you to have is this. So I'm going to draw a picture. So what I'd like you to imagine that all these bricks are the same size, um, go with that. So um, what I'd like you to do is draw this and we're going to shade in a few of these. So we're going to shade in just a select few. So we're going to shade in this one, this one, and that one. So these are going to be the, those are going to be the ones I'm going to shade. Okay. What they want is they want the percent of shaded boxes. That's what the question asks for. So find the percent. Find the percent that represents the number of shaded boxes. That's the question. That's what they're asking for. That's the statement. Okay, to do that, number one. How many boxes are shaded? Three. Three. So first step, three over. How many total boxes are there on that picture? Five and five, so ten. Ten. Okay. There's ten total boxes. So on the top, you're going to put the shaded up here. On the bottom, you're going to put the total number of boxes, even if they're shaded or not. You're going to put them all on the bottom. Then what I like to do, on your calculator, take top divided by bottom. 3 divided by 10. 0 0.3. 0 0.3. So that's in decimal form, right? But what you have to do is take that decimal, whatever it is, so we have 0 0.3, you're going to move it back two spots. And just so, three. so if you move it back two spots, it's back here, what do you have to fill in these blanks? Zeros. Zeros. So it's actually 30%. This is the percent of shaded boxes. 30% of the boxes are shaded. That's what my original thought was. I was going to say 30%. Yeah, 30%. Okay, let's do another one. I'm going to see if you guys can handle another one. I'll do kind of an easy one like this, but I'm going to give you a different graphic. Let's go with a pie chart. Chapter 6. Okay, so right now we're going to do a pie chart. Now imagine that these are all the same size. Sorry, I can't draw. Alright, so they're all the same size. Go with it. Um, Okay, we'll stop there. Okay, let's imagine that all the pie pieces are the same size. They have to be the same size for this all to work. So it's supposed to be perfectly balanced, or I can't draw. Okay. Let's see if you can do it in your notes. Wait. Let's see if you can figure out the shaded part. Wait. So, do we have to turn them back to a fraction percent? Yes. In our homework? Yes. 
to. Figure it out? Yep. Okay, you don't know which one I'm going to sign that. Alright, so try it out. I want to see if you can figure out the fraction and then figure out the percent for that one, the one in green, the uh, the pie chart. Let's see if you can do it. Is that right? I'm going to do it on the calculator. Hey, Sam, I already know it. <laughs> Sam, I already know it. Sam, I already know it. Sam, I already know it. So far, so good. I agree with that so far. So far, so good. Now, you have to do is tell me the percent. Two, five, uh, what question? Yes. I don't know how many I'm supposed to do this now. Always two. Always two. Eric, you get it? 33%. Okay, close. I'm just 33. You're close. 33.3. Yeah, so, all right. So, let's start with Connor. What was your fraction you had set up originally? Uh, I had, uh, I divided 2 out of 6. 2 out of 6. You're absolutely right. 2 over 6, right? There's 2 shaded, 6 total pies, pieces of pie, I should say. And then you divide, and we got the decimal. What, what was the decimal you had, though? 33.3. Yeah, so you have, you have just a bunch of threes, right? Mm -hmm. From across your screen. And then, Sam, how many spots can we move it? Two. Two. So if you move that over two spots, your answer, if I move this over two spots, is 33.33333333 percent. So it's 33 repeating percent. Got it? Do we understand how the first ones work? Now, here's the thing. If you don't know how many boxes there are, there's a quick way, like, I know a lot of you are just like adding one row at a time. That's great. Um, you can even figure out, like, if there's five going across, five boxes going across, and two going down. Um, you can multiply the two numbers, and it tells you how many total boxes there are. So there's five times two is ten boxes total. So there's, like, tricks for doing it. The pies, you just have to count. There's only not a shortcut, unless you know the formulas for circles. I do. Okay. So. 180 over 180. All right. Questions on the first part. Second part of homework. Now, you're going to have a few of those. Just a select few. Okay, not very many of those. The second part of your homework. Now, instead of giving you the picture and going to the data, now I'm going to give you data and you have to go draw me a picture. So, let's do one of those. What? Let me explain. Let's oh, say... Oh, it's on 140. What? It's on 140. So let's say I gave you a number, like let's say I give you, let's say I give you, I don't know, let's go 60%. This is representing my, this, this is going to represent my number of shaded boxes. Okay? So here's how it works. What I'd like you to do, you have to take this percent, whatever they give you, the number, put it over 100 to start with. Okay? Put it over 100. And, and then simplify, simplify the fraction, and then you can draw. So if you simplify this, what does it simplify into? So use your calculator. How uh, you simplify a fraction on your calculator really quickly, you touch the type, top number, ABC. hit the little ABC button, you type in the bottom number, and when you hit equal, it will simplify the fraction for you. I got it three-fifths. Three-fifths. So it simplified it automatically for you, correct? So 60, hit the little ABC button, hit 100. Enter, it tells you three of that. That's the picture. So, how many am I shading on this picture? Three. 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 Is there a shaded? And there's a total of five boxes. Now, I don't care how you draw it. You can draw a pan of brownies where you have five brownies in it. You could draw a pie with five pieces in it as long as they're all roughly the same size and you're shading in three of them. I don't even care how you do it. As long as it's representing the right number. Does that make sense? How are you doing? I think those are easy. If it doesn't simplify, <laughs> uh-oh, now you got to draw 100 boxes. Mm. Here's the trick for drawing 100 boxes. Just put 10 by 10. 10 across, 10 down, fill in all the boxes in between. That's how you do 100 really quick. So it's like this. Boom, boom, just go 10 across. 
Now whatever that is, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then just go ten down. And then you just fill in all the lines and you have a hundred boxes and shade and whatever you need. Okay, questions, comments about what we're doing here? Nope. Okay, homework today. 141. Okay, I'm gonna just put it. Where should I put it? I'm gonna leave that there. I like this one. Let's move this one. Okay. And page 141. Okay, here's your page. Hey, Mr. Bouncy. Mr. Bouncy, how are you? Today, Good. Can you hold? Still. Pull over? Oh, sure. large. But hey, if, if they run a little small, you can always get me an extra large. But I don't know what sizes you run. Is that all you need? Oh, I felt bad, man. I could have answered that question like a, 10 minutes ago. So I have time to talk. So. All right. All right. Later, man. Bye. All right. Apologies. Sorry. That's all you need. You said to ask me a quick question. Yeah. Hey, move the beta. Yeah. yeah. Move them around. It likes to get in different spots. All right. Here you go. Here's your homework. It is page 140. One through six, exercise A. And page 141. 7 through 12, exercise A. Guess it's all right. Hey, by the way, it was over there the whole time. It's <laughs> due Monday. <laughs> due Monday. Okay, uh, you get time to work. Take your time, have your book out, kind of work on it at your own pace. You can move around the room, you can sit wherever you like. Um, but make sure on the first one, they give you the picture. I like to write down the fraction, then convert it back, give me the uh, percent, so you show the work that you're doing there, kind of like what I'm doing. Um, if they if they give you the percent, like on 141, you have to convert it to the fraction, simplify it, and then draw. And yes, I do want the drawings. Okay. All right. Counter and easy draw book. Leave it in here before you. Yep, yep.